LRBAquatics.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome, everybody, to another live video. It is super, super early or late. Hard telling. It all depends on how you look at it. Probably like, I don't know, 4 o'clock in the morning. I haven't looked at the uh, clock lately. But I had to share this with you guys. Let me... Uh, flip you guys over I'm pulling out this huge red metallic crib and I wanted to share it with you guys it would have just been in vain if I did not share it with you guys so I actually broke out the tripod I'm gonna set you guys up on that show you guys how I pull it out and just share it with you guys you know look at these rainbows oh my god color they love that murky water Love that murky water. No, I sleep when I can, you guys, you know? Everybody's asking me in the chat. So let me put you guys on the tripod. Glad to see I'm not the only night owl, though. So hello, all. So let's go ahead and get into this. So what I do first is I get my hands up underneath the roots. Oh, that's a shell. But I get my hands up underneath the substrate. And I kind of knock out the gravel out of the roots a little bit. Now we'll get your tank all mommy and dirty. I'm going to try to pull this up in as big as a piece as I can. I saw candy. Oh, oh wait. Um, maybe I should try it from this side too. Let's see. I really didn't want to get that arm wet. This thing is massive. There you can see all the mom kicked up. Maybe hard to hear me talking. I don't know. Man. Hey, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. But I'm getting it. I'm getting it. And this thing is a beast. There's no way I can hold this all in one hand. There's no way. I thought I was going to be able to, but there is no way. This thing is ginormous. So I'm going to take you guys off the tripod. Since I can't pick this up with one hand anyways, probably wouldn't even be able to do it with two hands. You can see it's just kicking everything up. These fish don't care. They love that stuff. So if you guys ever get into this and that starts happening, don't ever stress or fret about it. It'll happen. But this is in a 125 high or 125 long and these leaves are almost touching the top of the water. Let me try to get some of this out. To show you guys, look at this. Pulling most of it. Look how it's just rooted and matted in there. That's pretty cool. You can see it's just crypt on top of crypt on top of crypt on top of crypt all connected. Pretty crazy. Man, I wish I could pick this up. I don't want to damage it either. Not worth damaging it. These fish are like, what is going on? So yeah, I've been staying up trying to get orders out. Thought I'd make this quick. And I share with you guys the pulling up of this huge red metallic crypt. And yeah, only 21 people in here, so I'm guessing everybody's sleeping. Man, look at these guys. I could just watch this tank in this dirty mode. And what I plan on doing to help replace like the biomass that this was doing, I'm gonna chop all these plants off, these fast growing Luigi Archeatas and kind of replace them into where the crypt is. That way it'll help pull up nitrates and stuff like that. Yes, yes, very nice. So I got these big old bags. I got to bag these things up. These are like 12 by 24 inch bags. 
All right, oh, 454, it actually tells me the time on here. That's kind of cool, so that's five where I'm at. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Kind of a different video, way late, but I thought I'd share it with you. And uh, glad to see some of you guys still up burning the midnight oil. So, all right, I got to hop off here and get back to it. Trying to work on shipments, getting them out, and I'm all caught up, which would be awesome. So until next time, everybody, peace. Have fun, and thanks for hanging out. It's